We've got a Parks for People Heritage Lottery Fund um, funding source and that allows us to do some amazing things in the, in the estate. We're restoring all our follies. Um, we're restoring the main coach house and associated buildings, uh, which is where, where we're sitting at the moment, uh, turning those into a, into a cafe, into a uh, small visitor centre, um, community rooms. It's going to be a, a real hub for, for the new park. Um, on either side of us we have the, the carriage houses where the, 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 the main vehicles for transport, so where the carriages would live. And then on either side, on the wings on either side, we had the, the stables where the horses would, would live. And um, this was an absolute state-of-the-art facility when it was built in the 1860s. Uh, you would not have found a finer stable, whether you were an estate owner or a horse. From both perspectives, it was beautifully uh, designed. The, the two carriage rooms, um, one's becoming a cafe and one is becoming a visitor centre and a reception. And the old stables, one is becoming a, an interpretation area. Uh, we're keeping the existing stalls that the horses lived in and each one is going to represent a different period in, in Staunton's history. And then right up this rickety old ladder at the top of the building, it turned out there's a really rare, unusual clock made by a guy called Villemay, and he was a royal clockmaker many years ago. Uh, it, it was the Rolls Royce of, of clocks. Um, the, the hands have gold leaf on them, the main face is, is cut out of slate. It has a, a rigid pendulum that's about five meters long, and so there's some really unusual features about it. And who knows what other surprises there are with the estate as we, as we finish the restoration. Thank you.